This week on Outdoor Bound TV. We travel to Montevideo, Minnesota for a late season Canada goose hunt with Maxed Out Guides. We also get a chance to sit down with David Troba, manager of the Lockie Powell Wildlife Area, to learn firsthand what long-term management steps this refuge took to become a major stop in the annual Canada Goose Migration Route. Take a look at this. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Real Deal G2 Seeds, Brew Pub Pizza, Meyer Recreational Buildings, and Colby Chrysler Center. seeds. The results speak for themselves. Brew Pub Pizza is specifically designed with the hungry in mind. It's big, it's bold, and it's outrageously delicious. Brew Pub Lots of Matzah Pizza is made with your favorite premium meats and veggies topped with over a half pound of real Wisconsin mozzarella cheese. When you're looking for the ultimate pizza adventure, when you crave a really serious pizza that brings the great Brew Pub experience, this is the one. Pick it up today at your favorite local grocer. Brew Pub Lots of Matzah Pizza, the ingredients for a great time. Since 1957, Meyer Buildings has offered full design and project management for your farm, equestrian, commercial, and storage building needs. Our recreational building line specializes in the design and construction of affordable, remote area buildings for the outdoorsman. This is my second Meyer building. I've been satisfied both times. Their design assistance, the quality of the construction, and their attention to detail is perfect. At Meyer Recreational Buildings, we offer custom building solutions for all of your building needs. Log on today for a better way to build. You know, we all expect a lot from our trucks. Whether it's tackling Wisconsin's tough winters, towing that boat to the lake, or getting you to your favorite hunting spot. The Ram 1500, with your choice of the 28 mile per gallon Eco Diesel or the legendary Hemi Power, air ride adjustable off road suspension, and optional Ram Box. So make the short drive to Colby Chrysler Center and discover for yourself why so many sportsmen and women have chosen the all new Ram 1500. Welcome home to Colby Chrysler. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to Outdoor Bound TV. I'm your host, Kurt Walbeck. On this week's show, we travel to Western Minnesota. We're gonna be goose hunting with Maxed Out Guide Service. And then we go to Lackey Palm Wildlife Refuge, where we will learn a little bit about how they've helped improve the migration for Canadian geese. All right, folks, uh, it's early December here, and uh, we're just on the south side of the Lacaparo Refuge. We're two days after a big snowstorm, big cold front moved in. Uh, it's been bitterly cold the last few days. Temperatures, uh, I don't know if they've broken zero uh, in the last two days. And uh, we're just here off the lake about a mile. Uh, the last couple days, the birds have really been pushing off the refuge to the south. They're actually roosting. Uh, they've got two holes open on the south side of the refuge. so. We're uh, underneath them where they've been the last few days and we put out a real nice spread. We've got some, sleep, uh, some sleepers behind us here. Uh, we've got feeders up front that are, uh, we're trying to imitate, you know, an aggressive feed up front and some content geese behind us. And uh, we put out a pretty sizable spread. We probably got about 250 decoys out here today. Uh, we got three guys calling, a couple guys flagging and uh, should be a good hunt.
top. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And one's chasing him. Okay. Drop back in. Four. Well, today we're in western Minnesota. We're goose hunting with Maxed Out Guide Service. Now, the weather is very, very cold. It's about four degrees below zero air temperature. And there's a slight westerly breeze, so it's making it awful chilly in these layout blinds. But we're just moving some of the decoys around a little bit. We've got quite a few bunches of birds that are working the area. So uh, we're gonna try to bunch up these decoys a little bit. We're gonna climb back in these layout blinds and see if we can get some of these geese to come in after us. They're pretty tall, but I don't know if they're going to come back around. All three shots. Nothing but feathers. Hi, I'm Graham Gressett. I own uh, Maxed Out Guides. Uh, we guide right here on the shores of Lac Caparle. Um, I was born and raised right here on the refuge. Uh, this is actually our, we're filming from our family farm today where, uh, where I grew up goose hunting. We really hunt in, in three main areas. Uh, we guide obviously here on La Caparle, um, and we also guide in the metro of Minneapolis, right in the west metro. Uh, we also are starting to guide in South Dakota as well for ducks and geese, and then also spring snow geese in the, uh, in the spring. As a guide, you're finding birds. Well, the nice thing about hunting a refuge is you know where the birds are going to be. You know, you know where they're going to wake up in the morning, where they're going to go to bed at night. So traditionally, when people come out, there's a few different ways that we hunt them. Uh, we do a lot of layout blind hunting. We like layout blinds because it allows us to go where the geese want to be. Um, you know, we can pick up, and we're frequently able because of just being from the area. Uh, we lease a lot of land. We also have a lot of landowner access that we get we get on just being from the area. And we're frequently able to set up feeds that you know birds have been in the day before. So it's a cornfield, and there was 5,000 geese in there the day before, and we're there with our decoys and our layout blinds the next day. We also hunt out of pits. Pits are really nice in these late season environments when it's cold. I mean, I don't know if it's broken zero today. And we're able to get down in a, a blow ground out of the wind in a nice heated pit. We've got sunflower heaters going. We're keeping everybody warm. We're killing geese. It's been, a, you know, and, and those are really some of the most funs we have because those, those heated pit hunts are a really social hunt. It's a good time.
All right, well, we're on the board. Could you, could you get him a little faster next time? Yeah. We're getting sweaty in this pit. You want to go hot. next time? Oh, I didn't say that. <laughs> yeah. I look like Adrian Peterson going across the field. <laughs> Boy, it's chilly, no dog today, so looks like I'm the dog for today, but we just had a nice group of honkers work us, kind of came to the backside, it came into about 20 yards, and we laid the hammer down. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Mission, HHA Sports, Titanium Tipstick, and Bowen Lodge. I'm going to be just like my dad. Strong like him, smart like him, and now that I have my mission menace, I'm going to be a bow hunter just like he is. This bow is my beginning, my future. This is my mission. Featuring an advanced perimeter weighted dual cam system, the mission menace provides power for the hunt and adjustability to fit any beginner, young or old. Visit missionarchery.com to find an authorized retailer near you. Mission by Matthews. Optimizer by HHA Sports. The Optimizer Light Ultra, voted number one single pin adjustable sight for 10 years running. The Optimizer Speed Dial for crossbows, to the yard accuracy with a single reticle. And the Optimizer Horizon, offering unmatched accuracy from both short and long range firearms. All Optimizer sight systems utilize range dial shoot technology. Ask for Optimizer at a dealer near you. Luminoc, the original self-contained lighted knock on the market, patented to accept replaceable lithium batteries and designed to work with all carbon aero shafts while producing the brightest results during any condition. Easily the most durable illuminated knocks to allow up to 40 hours of continuous use and are packaged and crafted to perfection for hundreds of shots. There's only one true Luminoc. Luminoc by Burt Coyote, made in the USA. Here is your weekly fishing tip presented by Bowen Lodge. Hi, my name is Jared Soffer and I'm the dock attendant here at Bowen Lodge. When I fish walleyes on Winnie, I like to use a simple jig and minnow technique with a eighth ounce chartreuse jig and it's tipped with a spotted tail shiner. When I fish this, I like to work it really slow along rock edges and weed lines. For more great fishing tips, log on to BowenLodge.com. My name is David Trouble. I'm the Wildlife Area Manager for the Lacapro Wildlife Management Area, and I've been at Lacapro for 21 years. My job is pretty much overall habitat and population work. Habitat is a big part of our job. Prairie wetland management. We are very much in the heart of the prairie of Minnesota. So uh, originally, the western one third of Minnesota was a sea of grass, 18 million acres of native prairie. Uh, today, less than 1% of that remains. You know, trying to make our grasslands as attractive to nesting waterfall, upland game birds, a whole suite of prairie wildlife species. Um, wetland work is huge. Shallow lake management, we got both Lac Pearl Lake, Marsh Lake, and that's critical. Marsh Lake is a lake in decline. Lac Pearl, you know, we're in this upper Minnesota river watershed. It's a huge migratory corridor. So really our job here at Lacapro is to make it just as absolutely attractive as we can for migratory waterfall. Well, we really had our start back with the flood control project in the 1930s, which was the largest work project administration flood control effort, I think at, in the United States at the time. Water conservation, flood control, and then the other one was public hunting and fishing and wildlife benefits. Those were the four main drivers between the flood control project. So in 1957, Lack of Pearl Wildlife Area really got its beginnings when those lands were officially transferred over. And that's where our project boundary began. And since 1957, we've been acquiring adjacent properties 
So we started out at 20,000 acres, and now we're up around 33,000 acres on the Lacoparle unit. In the first few years, just 100 some birds stopping at Lacoparle, and then it was 500 geese. Then the 60s, you know, it was 5,000, then 20,000. So it slowly started building inertia. And then the same thing, the, you know, we're getting geese that were staying here. Eventually the ones that were all pen reared and wing clipped were allowed to feather out and fly off, but they would come back, raise young. You're just slowly building that giant can goose population. At the same time, you're becoming a stopover for migratory can geese. So then you get in the late 60s and the whole things are starting to gel and now we're getting 20, 30,000 geese here at Lacoparle. And then the hunters started to show up. And back in those days, there was no state lines. It was just stand behind the telephone pole, stand in the road ditch. And, and that's what people were doing, you know. So then in the 70s, you know, now things are starting to really gel. Now it's 70, 80,000 geese and even more hunters are showing up. A lot of hunters are showing up. So then in 1974, the first state blinds came in. Now going back in 1976, it was probably a 30 some day season, one bird limit. We had 12,000 people come through our building for goose blinds. That's 364 people per day. It's just a phenomenal number for people coming out here goose hunting. And again, a one bird limit. But they shot a lot of geese out of the state blinds. Back in those days, they were probably shooting over 2,000 geese out of the state blinds alone. I mean, our seasons back then were very short. It was 20 day seasons, one bird goose limit, compared to 85 days and three bird stays. So there's a lot more opportunity. We have around 98 blinds around the refuge perimeter. And we have four drawings throughout the day. Two part raffle ticket. You come in, you put your ticket in the drum, we spin it, I call your number, you get the first choice to walk up to that blind map and pick whatever blind your heart desires. So you gotta choose wisely, you know. And we would just keep doing that until all the hunters are out, out hunting. We run our controlled hunt through the 30th of November. And then on 1 December, our goose hunting blinds become available first come, first serve. Meaning you don't have to come here and register with us. Drive around the perimeter, you see a blind open, park in the designated lot, go out and goose hunt. This is prairie background, this is farm country, this is where we should be goose hunting. I think that's a lot to be said for lack of all too. 40, 50,000 geese coming off the refuge, that's fun to watch. And it's a natural area. So I tell people how well we manage and take care of what we have here is really gonna mean what species do we have present in Minnesota 20 years from now. cold morning here in the first week of December. We're here in western Minnesota with maxed out guides now. We're going to be hunting goose today and the wind chills are about 25 below zero. I think the air temp is right at zero and there's about a 25 mile an hour wind and it's really really cool. Now we don't have the perfect day. It's actually kind of clear today. The sun's out and like I said it's really cool but we're going to try to get this set out and see if we can entice some of these big geese to come and land in our set. Stick with us. Here it's uh it's first week of December. We're out here just off the Lac Pearl Refuge, about a mile and a half. Uh, big snowstorm yesterday. Uh, a lot of ice, real cold, and uh, luckily we're in one of these heated pits here. We've got a big spread set up. Uh, you'll see we've got a lot of uh, our sleeper shells out. It's real cold. Birds like to uh, come out and feed. They'll sit down. They'll land. And the first thing they'll do is they'll plop down and they'll tuck their head under their wing. 
and uh, and uh, basically they do that to kind of warm up the ground underneath them so they can get at some of the food. So we've got a big old spread of sleeper uh, shells out. We got a couple of holes right in front and right in back. We're uh, we're calling at them pretty hard and flagging pretty hard, and uh, they've been pretty friendly. So we got about an hour of shooting time left here. We're hoping to uh, fill out a limit. So those birds are going to come in into that west wind. They've got two holes to land in, either front or back. We're going to flag them real hard to the ground, um, and you know, so we want them to key in on those flags because ideally we want to fin them, finish them on that front side there in that front hole. Uh, and we'll probably call them real aggressively all the way to the ground. When geese get on the ground, when it's cold, it's a very, ter very territorial bird. Um, when they're feeding, they make a lot of noise, and it's not, hey friend, come feed with me. It's get out of here leave me alone. So when geese hear that chatter, they know that there's birds on the ground that are getting after it and, and uh, strapping on the feed bag, so that's what we're hoping to take advantage of. So for people that are just getting into the sport of, of goose hunting, um, there's really a few things that, that you're going to need to get um, to be able to have a successful hunt. Number one, you obviously have to find a population of birds. You're going to need some decoys. Eventually you're going to need to invest in layout blinds. Layout blinds just allow you to get more, you know, they allow you to get into the field where the birds are wanting to be. You definitely need to invest in a flag. Flags are what we use to, you know, mimic that motion of Canada geese coming to the ground. It's an attention drawer, even more so than the calls a lot of times. The other thing that we'd recommend is, is picking yourself up a short read call. Any call that a Canada goose makes, you can make with these short read calls. There's do-it-yourselfers out there that, that try and try and try to do it themselves, and we pick up so many customers from people that just say, you know, we've been going out here, we're hunting, I need to get my kids some shooting or I'm going to lose them. And that's where hiring an, uh, you know, a guide like myself really uh, comes in as a big benefit because we have all the stuff. We have the experience, we have the knowledge, we have the land, we have the decoys, we have professional callers on our staff, we have you know, more decoys than I really care to know about. The other big benefit of hiring a guide is like I said, this is we're out in the field all the time. Um, so we're able to follow the birds, we're able to follow their patterns, we know what they're doing. Um, Weather changes in the fall happen pretty rapidly. Birds come in, birds move out, birds move around. But as a guide, that's really why you know you invest in a guide is to be able to stay on top of them to give yourself the best opportunity at a successful hunt. Growing up out here, I mean, I really grew up in a goose hunting family. Um, it is something that's really special to me because as a family, we really look forward to it every year. And it was all organized and kind of coordinated by my mom. So when I talk about, you know, they talk about who really influenced you. How did you get into goose hunting? Well, it was my mom. She was a farm wife that happened to establish what was really kind of a goose hunting empire uh, back in the 80s. And she was really my mentor, uh, not only you know in life, but in this business. Um, she, uh, and she never shot a goose in her life. My mom passed away this summer, and uh, doing things like this in the area are things that I always know she would have been, she been very proud of. Uh, she would have just really enjoyed having um, people out and she just like I said she just loved the hunters and she loved the people that's really what my goal is is to kind of you know to continue to evolve this guide service where you know we grow up with hunters so it's my goal to really just keep on and, and continue with that legacy uh, that my mom started Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Nays Baits Northeast Wisconsin chapter of SCI Value Implement and Burrs Off Nays baits, durable, effective, unique. 
the must-have fishing lures for every musky angler. Crank it, rip it, fast or slow. Our flagship livid fish brings them in again and again. Put trophy musky in your boat with naze baits. Go topwater with our tin head. From deadly slow to an all-out sprint. Naze baits. Get it done. Check us out online or pick up naze baits at a retailer near you. Hi everyone, join me in Green Bay this February at the Stadium View Sports Bar for the Northeast Wisconsin Chapter of SEI's Annual Hunter Expo and Banquet. Join us February 26th through the 28th and visit with outfitters, professional hunters, retailers, and lodge owners from around the world at the Wisconsin State Hunting Expo. Then join us Saturday night at Stadium View for the SCI Hunters Banquet featuring great food, gun raffles, and famous live auction. We'll see you at these two great events, February 27th and 28th. Call for your tickets today. Value Implement serves all of West Central Wisconsin and provides the tough Kubota equipment you need to tackle tough Wisconsin winters. Even the harshest weather is no match for the quality of Kubota and the experience of Value Implement's team. Take control of winter and stop in today for the largest selection of Kubota products at any of our six convenient locations. Value Implement. More stores. More selection. More value. Hey everyone, if you've spent any amount of time in the outdoors like I do, chances are you've gotten those burrs stuck in your clothes. Well, I found a great new product to help you easily remove these pesky hitchhikers from your clothing. Introducing Burrs Off, the first and only burr removal tool that works on all types of burrs and all types of clothing. No more pulling burrs off with your fingers. Brush them off in seconds with Burrs Off. I take one with me everywhere I go. Look for Burrs Off at a dealer near you product and promotional consideration provided for Outdoor Bound TV by these fine sponsors. If you're interested in hunting with Graham Grayseth and Maxed Out Guides, their contact information is on the screen, or you can check them out on Facebook. Accommodations for Outdoor Bound TV provided by the Sportsman Inn of Montevideo, Minnesota. <laughs> Hey guys, thanks again for the great time there in western Minnesota. It was a cold couple days, but we had a lot of fun goose hunting. And Dave, keep up the great work helping with these Canadian geese and the migration and helping to increase the numbers in western Minnesota. Folks, join us again here next week when we'll bring you more great hunting and fishing action from around the Midwest, around the nation, and around the world, right here on Outdoor Bound TV. This one? Oh, this first one right okay. here. Okay. Ready? Here, how's that? Har, 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 har. And this is what, beer commercial now or what? It's even funnier when it's not you. So we're... And you're watching Outboard now. Outward Bound Outdoor Tea. Bound. You're watching Outboard. Goose hunting where in Western Minnesota? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I want to say Outboard Downed. Okay, are we ready? Kind of like my mission hat better. And is that it? We are 